let's go ahead and move on to the next one. Let's okay. listen to what the young lady, the pretty young lady had to say. Okay, so a lot of women are having an issue because I said the men are not dumb. I'm standing on all 10 behind my statement because men are not dumb. Romantically, baby, I'm not talking intellectually. I'm talking romantically. Like I said, it's innate for men to do the right thing for the woman they want to be with. You want to call him dumb because he ain't doing what you want him to do. The women that disagree with me, I wonder, are you one of the ones that really wanted a guy and he didn't want you back or he maybe was lying to you, making you feel away and you went off your feelings instead of reality? I haven't been there. Don't think I'm I'm saying this to bash you or come at you, but I'm a need for you to think before you type. Men are not dumb romantically. That's why when he leave you, he go get a next girl roses that you've been dying for. He get a next girl a ring that you've been dying for. Like I said, men are not dumb and I'm standing on that. I don't care what nationality, ethnicity, race, weight, None of that. Men ain't dumb. They know what they're doing. It's innate romantically for men to do what they want to do for the right woman. Period. I'm standing on it. Okay. So she's a little right and she's a little wrong. <laughs> Let's start off with what she is innately right about. Let's listen again. Okay. So a lot of women are having an issue because I said the men are not dumb. I'm standing on all 10 behind my statement because men are not dumb. Romantically, baby. I'm not talking intellectually. I'm talking romantically. No, I see. I disagree with her right here. I think romantically men are stupid. I do. Um, I feel like, and not all men, of course, not all men, but romantically, a lot of the times men, and this is one a big thing that's stupid for me. They will go and marry women who they are not that sexually into. And then they'll go and have side chicks that they are sexually into. And it's because they view their wives as some type of mother rep like representative. She's supposed to be like a mother. So, yeah, you'll have sex with her and she's beautiful, but you don't want to do the same freak nasty shit with her that you want to do with your side chick. Right. And you do all of this freak nasty shit with your side chick and you show up at the side chick house making sure she don't have no nigga there neither. OK, but you still want your wife and you don't want to leave your wife either. And you want to make sure your wife ain't got nobody neither. So at the end of the day, yeah, I, I understand what she means. <laughs> um, about men when they know what they want they go and get it when men are really wanting a woman they will pursue a woman they will not sit back and wait for them to chase you know then like no if a man really wants you he will pursue you he will do whatever is needed for the relationship okay hold up y'all Sorry, y'all. My husband is aggravating me right now. He's just walking around and, and looking for something. No, but my response when you walking around looking for stuff is to be like, what is he looking for? And then me also be looking around for whatever you looking around for. It's my natural response. Okay? Goddamn helpmate. Do me a favor. Like the video. Okay, let's get back into it. Like I said, it's innate for men to do the right thing for the woman they want to be with. And that right there, that's where she's wrong again. It's not innate for a man to do the right thing for the woman that he wants to be with. Because men who are with the women that they want to be with still cheat and dog out those women even if they want to be with them. They want to be married to them. They want to have children with them. I do not feel like it is natural for a man to do the right thing for the woman he wants to be with. And I actually think sis sounds delusional because when you hear what men talk about, when men say they do some shit naturally or innate, they say it's not natural for them to be monogamous. That's what men say. They say it's not natural for them to just be with one woman. A lot of men say that that's not natural for them. Nick Cannon, some other people, you can Google it. So it's weird to me for this woman to say that she feels that men innately do the right thing for women that they want to be with. I don't think that's true. 
I don't. And I feel like a part of what she's saying is for the women that want to feel chosen. You want to feel like you're the one. And when you're the one, he's not going to treat you bad. And I just kind of feel like that's kind of bullshit. Yes, a man will go farther and do more and, and, and you know, want to impress a woman he really wants more. Yes. But when it really boils down to it, if he got that woman and she's locked down and he want to go fuck on somebody else for a little while before he goes home that night, he might do that just because he can. Just because he can, not because he doesn't want no girl at home. I think it takes a certain amount of self-control, maturity. I think it takes a lot more than innately wanting somebody in order for a person, period, to not do whatever. So I, I, I don't like the, the, the statement that she's making because it gives the idea that you just got to be that right one. And if he dogging you out, it's because you just not that right one. And yeah, you may not be that right one, but that doesn't mean something is wrong with you. That means that nigga ain't shit. <laughs> the fuck? I don't know why y'all assume that when he gets with the one, he's not going to cheat on her, Kevin's heart. Because to be clear, Aniko is supposed to be the one. You know what Kevin Hart is? In Vegas. Bam, bam, bam. Okay? I never forget that video. I never forget him banging that damn girl out. And <laughs> he was banging that bitch out. I never forget that video, boy. Oh, sick. Okay? He had to hide. He had to hide the phone. Them niggas caught him on 2K live with a bitch in the background. Yes, his whole McRib. His whole McRib. So what 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 woman is the one? What woman is the one that you really want if you still going to be fucking on hoes? In the office and in Vegas and all over the place. We're going to talk about it, child. We're going to talk about Kevin. But yeah, no, I think old girl, I think old girl is off. And I think she's getting her opinion from a man that wants her to believe that she's being treated better. And I want y'all to know that's where bottom bitch mentality comes from. Bottom bitches, it's a pimp 101 thing, okay? You make her think she's better. And you give her a little get a little control over the other bitches. You make her think that she's better than the other ones. That way she's willing to do more and go far. That's the bitch that's going to take the hit for you. That's the one that's going to hide the drugs for you. That's the one that you can count on to sacrifice herself for you. Your other ones, you don't know that about them. Yeah, you got them, but you don't know what could be happening in their minds at any given time. You don't know what other niggas could be talking to all of the girls. That's why you got to keep your bottom bitch close to you because that's the one that's going to make the real sacrifices for you. Okay? I'm sorry, y'all, but that's the mentality. Those women that are the bottom bitch still get beat up, still get cheated on still get disrespected still get left to feel hurt just like the other girls do but because they're given a little bit of power in the scenario it makes them feel like they're better off so that's gonna make them stay in a position even tougher it's the same mentality as white people in our in our you know racist society poor white people don't get treated that much better than poor black people they do but they don't okay they do but they don't but they don't recognize that they think the little bit of power that they do have over the black folk and in other you know different ethnicities of people in this country that are not white they feel like because their whiteness makes them a little bit better they still might be poor they still may not have shit they family still don't come from shit they still not educated they still ain't got no teeth but hey they white so they a little bit better. So they help to maintain this system that really only benefits the rich ones at the top. You feel me? It's the same mentality. 
It's the same mentality, y'all. If y'all will read Pimp 101, <laughs> if y'all will read Pimp by Iceberg Slim, you will learn. A lot of these things are, are, are like replicated. A lot of these mentalities are replicated. Okay? And then this right here is the makings of a bottom bitch. Because he the one, you know, light skin, red bone, what he want. Until he calling the cops on you holding the baby, antagonizing the fuck out of you on social media. You thought light skin is what he wanted. Okay? <laughs> shout, shout out to Danny Lay. Okay? <laughs>